this means that another ester is forming here because of this because of this part so I have the CH2 again and this is forming another ester over here And let's just say this part, uh, this part, th this part reacted with another diol because why not? We have space, so let's react. Let's have another one over here because obviously there are many. And let's say that this part react with, reacted with the uh, with the dicarboxylic acid again with the same dicarboxylic acid again. Okay. So we have this now, um, from this side we will have another ester because of these and uh, this one bonding together and from this side, um, so uh, let me just write the entire thing over here. So okay, let's just not do this side because let's not, not do this side we don't have space and let's just also forget about this because we, we are eventually we'll run out of space so let's just leave it over here so now um, we will have a COOH over here and okay so now uh, I, I actually shouldn't be leaving these two because uh, this is assuming that it is not reacting further but right now we are talking about polymerization which means it is reacting further so let's quickly identify the repeat unit okay so let's start with this oxygen, okay? Uh, not the hydrogen, this oxygen, because that, that's the way you'll, uh, you'll understand this. So oxygen, CH2, CH2, another oxygen, C double bond O, benzene ring, C double bond O. Now, when we come back to this oxygen, then we have the same pattern repeating all over again. So this means that one repeat unit is still here, is from here to here, because then the, we start with the oxygen again, and we keep going and we get till here and then we'll have another oxygen and this will form another another bond we will have another CH2 CH2 oh so something like this so now you can see that this is the way the molecule is repeating so one you repeat unit of this polymer becomes this So this is one repeat unit of this polymer and it will keep repeating. Now if you notice that we have an O in this on this end and we have a CO on this end and this makes a lot of sense because we know that these two ends when combined together will finish the chain because this will be the last ester formed, the last ester bond formed. So this is what will finish uh, and it will make some things uh, circular but obviously we know that this CO will bond with an O and this O will bond with the CO. So it makes a lot of sense is if the chain has these two groups on the terminals. So this is one repeat unit of this polymer and the link is called the ester link because uh, we can see there is an ester, over, ester bond over here, an ester bond over here, an ester bond over here, an ester bond over here. So we can, so the, the, the group that is linking this polymer is called the ester linkage. So we call this the ester linkage and such polymers are called polyesters. So this is called uh, this is called the ester linkage, and polymers with the, with ester linkages are called polyesters because they are joined by uh, by by ester groups. And we will also have water eliminated. Don't forget the water because when every ester is formed, a water is being eliminated. Uh, a water molecule is eliminated. So if n molecules of this combined with n molecules of this then we will have n molecules of water eliminated makes a lot of sense and 
and we will have uh, a polymer with n units of each n units of the diol and n units of the dicarboxylic acid so this is condensation polymerization and these this is called a polyester now 